So if suds are not blowing the door off of your washer, then clearly your clothes can't get clean, right? Well, today I'm going to be demonstrating how chemicals that you put into your washing machine get left behind on your linen and actually wind up in your bloodstream. Friends, do your research. Up to 60% of the chemicals that you put on top of your body can be potentially absorbed into your bloodstream. Crazy, I know, but it is true. And now I'm gonna show you actually how this happens. So this is a brand new t-shirt. It still has the stickers on it, so you know that it's completely unbiased. And this is one of the leading suds maker slimy goopy springtime fresh filled laundry chemicals if you read the back of the label it says to apply this detergent directly to stains so i want you to imagine for a second that even though this is a brand new shirt there there was a stain on the shirt so we're going to follow the manufacturer's directions and we're going to pour this nice thick blue goopy stain removing awesomeness and here's a stain our imaginary stain and we're going to take some of this wonderful goop and throw it right onto the back of the shirt here and again we're going to rub it in real good because there was a stain that your child made and we want to really get that stain out and now the stain is out and that's really really awesome so now imagine you've now taken this shirt and you've thrown it into the washing machine. To kind of exaggerate the issue, we're gonna use this sink here and imagine that this is a washing machine for a second. And you could see that this, there's just suds that are just totally caked on to this shirt here. Well, imagine, let's get a good rinse going and you know, exaggerate that this was a rinse cycle in your washer. All right, here's another good rinse and we're gonna wring this thing out. And clearly your washing machine at home doesn't wring these suds out. Friends, as you can see, the suds are just not going to come off of this shirt. I mean, I literally would have to be rinsing this thing for an extremely long time for the suds to get off of this shirt. You see, these chemicals are actually designed to do this. They're designed to leave a sheen, a film, on your clothes. You see, some of these chemicals are called surfactants. And what they do is they're designed to leave a sheen on your fabric. And that sheen is there for a couple reasons. One, to reduce static, because nobody likes static. And they leave this really nice color blue haze to trick your eyes into thinking that your clothes are really bright when they really just have a fluorescent glow to them. And they designed to leave this really nice fragrance, this kind of pharmacopoeia of really kind of crazy smelling. Rainbow happiness. And the purpose of that smell is to trick your nose into thinking that your clothes are really clean when they really just smell, quote unquote, nice. I think it smells terrible. So as you can see, these chemicals don't go anywhere. They're actually designed to stay behind. When you throw them into the dryer, they don't evaporate. They don't go anywhere. And when you put them on your back and you put them on your clothes, or you lie in your, your bed at night or you dry off um, with your towel from your shower, you actually create micro suds on your skin and those suds actually get absorbed into your body. And it's legal. I don't know how you feel about that, but I don't want that on my back nor on my children. So friends, it does not have to be this way. So thank you so much for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you the next time. Bye for now.